Hello, I'm Jodie and I'm 21 years old. This is Hazel, this is Tulip, and this is Bramble. Go on. <laughs> Good girls. I got Hazel when I was nine years old after begging for a dog my whole life, and she soon became my whole life. I went to my first dog show when I was about 10 and became first in the best child handler class which was incredible and that really got me into dog showing and as you can see this isn't even the start of it we've won probably 400 rosettes if not more over the past 12 years and we just absolutely love it it's our favourite thing in the whole wide world we compete in agility and hill work to music mainly but we also do some fun obedience fun trip training and we've also done some TV and film work. Bramble is grade seven, which is the highest grade in the UK. Hazel has only really been doing agility for a couple of years, and considering she's nearly 12 years old, she is grade five, which is up there, is pretty good. She's quite an amazing dog, really. Um, unfortunately, she is technically retired now, but we do a few shows just so she doesn't feel left out. Tulip's only 11 months old at the moment, so she hasn't actually started competing in agility yet because they have to be 18 months. But she does some basics, some basic foundation work, and she has really got a bug for it. So hopefully she's going to be just as good as Hazel and Bramble when she grows up. I can't even count how many tricks Hazel and Bramble know, but one time I did, and it was around the 300 mark. But since then they have learned more commands so it's pretty amazing they learn things so quickly and it's a real passion of mine to train them hazel is a border terrier and she is bramble's mum hazel's nearly 12 bramble is seven years old tulip is a crossbreed she's half pyrenean sheepdog and half chinese crested powder puff hey baby and she's as i said she's 11 months old so she's nearly a year old she's still a real baby Sweetheart, you're gorgeous, aren't you? I'm 21 years old and I'm currently at university studying Animal Management BSc, which is basically combined animal sciences. I don't know what I want to do in the future, but I know it definitely consists of dogs, animals and talking, because I am such a big mouth, I love talking. And I owe that all to the dogs, really, because I used to be very, very shy. I used to absolutely dread having to speak out in class and I used to be very introverted, but now because of these dogs, I've been motivated to go out and actually do things. We've performed in the main arena at Crufts in front of 8,000 to 10,000 people, which is incredible. And I absolutely thrive now in the limelight, as do these guys, because they've really brought me out of my shell. So considering my options, at the moment I'm looking at maybe going into dog training as a future career. perhaps going into presenting as well because it is something that, as I've said, I really enjoy talking and maybe even working in a museum because I have a real passion for natural history as well. As long as it's got scales, fur or feathers, then I love it. I live in Bournemouth, which is in the south of England, with my family. I'm really lucky to live next to such an amazing beach and we spend a lot of our time down at the beach. In fact, the dogs have already been there today and I just love the outdoors, it's absolutely fantastic. I love snow! Hazel and Bramble also have their own Facebook page which has over 10,000 followers again, which just blows me away, which is called Hazel and Bramble Performing Pooches. And we also have Instagram accounts. So Hazel and Bramble's Instagram account is called Hazel and Bramble. Tulip has her own little one called Tulip Mountain Mutt. And I have my own, which I mainly just upload pictures of the dogs to. And it's called Crazel Pup, the same as this YouTube channel. I find social media is a great platform to get other people involved in dog training, especially terrier owners because I can't even count the number of times people have told me that you can't train terriers but that is absolutely untrue and I think we've proven that really terriers are incredible dogs and they're very highly trainable I also really want to get other kids involved in dog training because I think dog training is a very adult dominated world and it shouldn't be the case because kids and dogs go hand in hand together and we just need to encourage more young people to get involved in dog training so yeah, that's a little bit about me. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. I love you.